Oh, it is impossible to reach in here without getting bit. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, here you go. Hey everybody, welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. As for me, I am full of energy and I am solo here at the shop. Everyone has today off except for little old me, but that's okay because I am excited and I hope that you have an amazing day as well. Can you guys do me a favor before we get started? Roman Atwood is actually putting on a demolition derby for a bunch of YouTubers and a ton of the guys that are on the list are all friends of mine and people that we've collabed with before and I want to do this. Could you imagine Lori or Noah driving a demolition car against Logan Paul or any of these other YouTubers, do me a favor, blow up Roman Atwood's Twitter feed right now and say, let Snake Bites TV be in your little demolition derby. It will be absolutely epic. He only lives about three hours south of me, so he's right in my backyard, and I'll bring a big snake, and I'll show those guys how to do a demolition derby. Anyways, we're going to have an amazing day. We have a ton of snake work to do today, so hey, just bear with me because we're going to be working our butts off. What do you say we get started? I'm not going to lie to you guys. A lot of today is going to be about just getting a lot of work done because when I'm the only one here, not only do I have to make sure that all the babies that are born or hatched or whatever have to be set up, but I have to go through the rest of the collection too and just make sure everything's okay. If anything needs fresh water, if they dump their waters, if the cage needs to be cleaned, whatever needs to happen, basically, I'm the only guy here to do it, so I can't sit back and just enjoy the animals all day, which I still will to some extent. The fact is, is that I have a lot of work to do. And the first thing I have to do is set up those rainbow boas that were born yesterday. I ended up just putting them in a big tub with water yesterday. Now I want them to go into individual cages, mark which litter they're from, and then even sex them and all that other stuff. So, hey, again, it's not exactly glamorous work that I'm going to be doing today, but I'll still have a really good time, and I hope that you guys don't mind that you'll be joining me today. I guess, in a way, this will give you an opportunity to know what it's like to really be a snake breeder. Okay, so not to pimp my own product, but I am going to anyways. I love the fact that not only Reptile Prime coconut bedding is dust-free and it is so absorbent, but I love the fact that there is a resealable little zipper on this bag. That way, if you don't use the whole bag, you can still save it without spilling spilling all over the place and stuff like that. So anyways, I'm gonna do about an inch and a half of Reptile Prime coconut bedding on the bottom of these tubs and I'm gonna put little couplings and water bowls in them and then we'll put the snakes in. Tell you what, guys, there are literally baby snakes and geckos everywhere. There's baby snakes I just hatched here, ball pythons that hatched here, the rainbows over here, more colubrids over here. I mean, snakes are hatching up top over here. We're pulling them down. Of course, we've got a ton of geckos hatching over here. Woo, doggy, it is going to be a crazy time of the year. I love it to death, but being here alone is a little overwhelming because all of these animals have to be set up on my time, so uh, it is just going to be crazy. But hey, I can't tell you, I am just full of energy today. So it is a great day to have a lot of work, but uh, right now we got to get on to Colombian rainbow boas. Let's go ahead and set these little monkeys up here. And again, look at, oh, sheesh, look at how feisty these little dudes are. And these are those real, ow! These are those really beautiful ones here that I'm sure have some kind of crazy genetics to them. I absolutely love them. So again, we're just gonna set them in here. We may go back later and actually spray them a little bit just to get the humidity up a little bit in, but we don't want the humidity too high. This coconut bedding really retains humidity, so a light mist goes a long way. So let's go ahead and set the rest. We'll cut, set all the cool ones up first. That way they all stay together. There you go. Oh! It is impossible to reach in here without getting bit. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, there you go. Look at how cool that thing is. Woo! <laughs> I tell you, I love these little guys. All right, there's a handful more. There's another one here. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. Ow. Ow, ow. All right, there's two more. So, so far there's been six of those really unusual ones. And it looks like, uh, get in it, ow, ow. <laughs> and it looks like there's seven. So seven out of 17. Yesterday I said that there were 16 babies in this litter, but the truth is there was actually 17. So uh, seven out of 17 babies came out looking really cool. So we're gonna set those up, raise them up, and hopefully something else goes on. In the meantime, I'm gonna get these crazy little monkeys set up. What are you guys doing, you crazy little dudes? <laughs> I promise, for anyone that wants a rainbow boy, they calm down really quick. Uh, let's get these last ones set up. Day three is upon us. We're hitting up Animal <laughs> Kingdom today. We're gonna see some cool stuff. We've been told that there's a Bigfoot sighting in Animal Kingdom. And We're gonna find it. 
That is our mission, finding Bigfoot. Okay, so the next thing on the list is to set up a bunch of baby ball pythons. And there are some real stunners that are hatching. The only thing that's got me a little stressed out now is literally this whole wall here is filled. This whole wall here is filled with just a handful of slots. And uh, this is all we have left in space. So and we still have a lot to hatch. So uh, we better start selling some ball pythons. And, and the truth is, is most of them aren't even up on the website yet. So I am going to work this week really hard at getting ball pythons on the website so we can start selling them because uh, you know I always want to keep everything but we are definitely getting close to being out of space so a little bit of panic is setting in but uh, hey we're gonna be all right we've got we're gonna figure it out no stress right anyways let's get these ball pythons set up Alright, so the cages are all set up, now for the snakes. There are just so many incredibly beautiful animals like this spinner blast yellow belly that I need to put away. And again, I always talk about sexing the animals as I put them away. So I mark the clutch number, I mark the sex, and then I mark the morph. Now I'll go back later after they shed and ate a couple times and just kind of double check both the sex and the morph just to make sure that I didn't make any mistakes. Because once they shed and put a little bit of size on them, oftentimes they look a little different and you can say, oh wow, that is a yellow belly, or oh that's not a yellow belly something on that lines but anyways this is a spinner blast yellow belly and I'm just gonna check the sex really quick and it happens to be a female Take a look at this one right here. This happens to be a queen bee yellow belly and holy cow that is one gorgeous animal and it's a little boy Getting down to my last couple clutches, and this sucker is just so beautiful. This is an Enchi banana. I tell you what, you know, bananas have become pretty affordable now, and I just think that they're absolutely one of the most breathtaking mutations. You know, probably right behind Pied, and I mean, there's a few other things though, but I just think bananas, I mean, even when you take someone off the street and you show them a banana ball python, they're like, oh my gosh. And to me, I think that's really the thing that is longevity when it comes to a mutation, is even when someone that doesn't know a lot about a snake looks at it and goes holy cow that thing is incredible or it's so different don't get me wrong I like all the subtle mutations with ball pythons and all snakes and reptiles for that matter but the ones that are really shocking really pop and of course this one right here would happen to be an Enchi pinstripe banana so when you mix that Enchi the banana the pinstripe together oh my god that thing is amazing and I'll give these guys a little dip in water to get all this uh, hatch right off before I actually get done setting them up I still have to go back and give them all water so I'll give them a little dip clean them up a little bit and then we'll get them all set up one more clutch after this okay so I'm gonna blast through the last animals really quick this first one would happen to be a pinstripe yellow belly and it's a male the next one is this beautiful little monkey right here which is a lesser yellow belly and that's a male also and now we're starting to get pretty spectacular this would happen to be a killer spinner yellow belly and it is a little girl here's another little pastel kingpin yellow belly but it looks quite different than the other one and it happens to be a little girl and the other one was a boy and then the last ball python is really a beauty here this is a killer spinner lesser yellow belly oh my god just take a look at how gorgeous that animal is and that is a little boy also okay guys so the ball pythons are all set up getting things done today it's been an amazingly awesome day so far let's go ahead and set up some little baby geckos okay we're in some kind of museum um, that has a lot of artifacts I see a picture of the casting not the actual casting but I figured I'd show you that because that might be all we get I don't know the truth is on days like today I'm really working a lot I'm doing a lot of different things that are kind of boring so it's not really great for vlogging per se because you guys will probably get bored just seeing me either set up tubs or do this or do that and so so every now and then I like to take a break not only for the vlog but also for myself so I can get a little enjoyment and just show off a couple cool animals this happens to be that baby mangrove snake that we had last year remember they were so little tiny they couldn't even eat a pinky mouse we literally had 
have to feed them little pieces and look at how big they're getting and of course when they're babies they're really like a brown and white looking and then as they get older they get that adult color in which is black and yellow what a beautiful snake I tell you we have a bunch of mangroves that are up to size to breed this year so I am hoping we get a whole bunch of babies this next season but look at how good they're doing once they get started they do so well on frozen rodents and uh, again we're trying to keep these guys really tame not that I really ever suggest handling an adult mangrove without some hook or something like that but nevertheless beautiful snakes this is a mosaic cow king and we call them mosaics because of just kind of that mosaic pattern that a lot of them have the thing I love about this one is that really big wide stripe down its dorsal I just think this one is really amazing and when it hatched out five or six months ago I just said I've got to keep this one again we're gonna be raising up a lot of colubrids this year because we want to kind of retool our colony but uh, anyways I just have to take this break I still have a ton of work to do today so uh, I'm back to it Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started with putting away some leopard gecko babies and there are some beauties in here. Take a look at that one right there. That of course is a hypo Max Snow white and yellow. But holy cow, that thing is amazing. And it's a feisty little dude too. All right, buddy, let's get in here. Oh gosh, I tell you what, there are some really good ones. Oh, and remember that group of geckos that Jessica was telling you that are coming out white with just a handful of like dark spots on them? Take a look at this one here. It's almost all white and it just has a couple little dots on its head and a little faint spot on its back. I cannot wait to show Jessica. She's going to absolutely trip out when she sees this one. Now this one right here is another white one that looks really similar to the last one, but genetically it's completely different. That one is actually line bred to be mainly a white animal with a couple dark freckles. This one happens to be a Tremper albino super snow white and yellow. Well, just take a look at how crazy cool that one is. I tell you what guys, we have a bunch of geckos to set up. I'm going to go ahead and set a bunch of these up and I'll pull a couple more side to show you. Okay, down to my last few leopard geckos, and these guys are stunners. Take a look at that one right there. Holy cow. Now that's a tangerine sun glow tremper, but just really beautiful orange, and its sibling is just as good. Take a look at that one right there. Oh my gosh, and these guys are just babies, so when they start growing, they're gonna get even better. I thought these ones might be keepers. I'm not sure. I love this type of animal, so I don't know. Two more to go. And I always talk about how the fact that I really love the Mac Snow stuff, but these last two are just really phenomenal. Take a look at the pattern on that animal there. I mean, my gosh, that thing almost looks like a spider web down its back. So what this is, is basically like a bold stripe Max Snow, but the bold stripe turned into this really amazing pattern. And guess what its sibling looks like? It's basically the exact same thing, just with a Tremper albino added to it. I mean, that thing is just absolutely incredible. Again, the pattern on these guys are truly crazy. And we're hatching so many geckos right now. It's so awesome to see them. I mean, I'm just going through and sometimes spending like an hour just opening up cages going, oh my God, these things are absolutely gorgeous. I mean, seriously, take a look at an animal like that who wouldn't think that this thing is so cool so all right we are wrapped up on leopard gecko setup okay so I'm super excited guess what I found it I found the elusive casting of Bigfoot there it is Josh Gates his picture and the foot I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of disappointed that's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be and I did it all for you Brian there it is. <laughs> I tell you what, guys, who doggy? That was a long day of work. I just spent the last 14 hours working on animals, but it was so cool. I really love days like today where it's just me and my animals. It kind of reminds me of back when I first started, when we didn't have any employees, and it was just me and Lori, and oftentimes Lori wasn't able to help, so it was just me, and I just love it to death. It kind of reconnects you with the animals, and it just is awesome. So regardless, though, it was a lot of work. I hope that you guys enjoyed kind of seeing what I was 
doing today. So let's go ahead and get out of here and see if there's anything going on with Noah. Lori is back tomorrow. I hope that she had an absolutely amazing time. She certainly deserved the break. But we'll see what's going on with Noah and decide if we're going to do anything or just maybe have a chill night. Regardless, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. What a busy day, huh? I mean, we got so much accomplished today and it was so exciting. I just love seeing all of these babies. I am so blessed to be able to do something that I love and I cannot thank you guys enough for allowing me to share what I love with you guys. I hope that you find something that you can wake up every morning and be passionate about like I am. Lori gets back tomorrow which is just absolutely awesome to reunite our family again and then in a few days we head up to Toronto, Canada for the Canadian Reptile Breeders Expo. For anyone up in Canada, come and see us and hang out. We'll be there Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be an absolutely great time. I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day or evening or whatever it might be. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You guys mean the absolute world to me. Can you do me a couple favors and smash that like button and make sure to turn the post notifications on. Make sure to be kind to somebody and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.